It's a destination that's tough to describe, but once you see it, you'll be able to wrap your head around it. Doug and Marna Jean Davis, along with their two daughters, are so knowledgeable and talented that Doug has his own awesome leather shop where he makes saddles in his downtime. And Marna Jean, well, she's an expert seamstress that specializes in historical clothing. In fact, she even has her own line of patterns. Believe it or not, her dresses are so historically accurate, they're perfect down to the last stitch. And she and Doug make all the accessories, too. With that much perfection, Hollywood has them on speed dial. So we make reproduction parasols, and we've done them for several movies now. We've done Cold Mountain, The Legends of Zorro, and we've done one called King Bolden or Bolden. And it's not been released yet, but we did 70 parasols for that movie. Whoa, that's <laughs> cool. And you also do hats, right? Also do hats. Here, let me show you one. She has something special, she I said. I have something very special for him. Here we go. There, now, you look lovely. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe it was going to be a cowboy hat, but I don't think this was... <laughs> I'll do anything for the show, I guess. <laughs> you know, this place is like a museum, only funner. It's an experience. You will step back in time and experience things that they experienced over 150 years ago. And when you leave, you're going to feel like you've been in a part of that time. Most museums, you go, you stand behind a rope, the things are behind a piece of glass. When you come to our museum and you say, oh, that's a beautiful hat, I'll say, let's try it on you and see how it looks. Um, the, they might say, oh, look at that spinning wheel. I said, would you like to see how it works? Would you like to try it yourself? Um, you want to go out and see the sheep that the wool came from? It's not just parts of history here, it's all together. Yeah, what she said. Doug and Marna Jean have other personalities. No, not in a civil kind of way. Come on, in a living history kind of way. We do Zach and Lucille Mulhall, we do Annie Oakley, we do Theodore Roosevelt and his daughter Alice. Yeah, we've done uh, teas, we've done dinners. Um, we've had uh, tour buses out here and cooked completely over the fire. The Davises whipped us up some dinner over the fire. And let me tell you, it was good. Oh, that smells awesome. <laughs> Did you not smell it? And you have as much as you want. <sighs> Get your own. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if this is what the past well, tastes like, I've been living in the wrong century. I, I think that people want to touch that touch that part of their own history and sometimes they don't know they do until they get there my thoughts exactly at shooting star history in hitchcock i'm jeff roberts